Yo, 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 welcome back to the Stocks to Play channel where we give you the hottest penny stocks in the game. Uh, today I'm going to try to make this a quick video. We're talking about uh, SIDU, Sidu Space Inc. Um, before I get started, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any tickers you want me to talk about, just drop a comment down below. Also, if you want to uh, participate in our paid WhatsApp chat group just drop your email in the comments and i will hit you back up our group has been doing very well you got daily plays right to your fingertips with dd before the market opens so that you could uh make educated decisions and take it from there our, our whatsapp group is doing very well like very very well um my last video i posted some screenshots of guys actually uh hitting some plays so you guys could go and check out that other video if you want um we just had Today, another guy commented, he said, uh, thanks bro, pay my rent with this money. Um, that was on the OCUL call. Um, I had posted it, told the guys to look out for it on Monday morning that there should be DD. It did drop and um, some of us hit it hard, man, hit it hard. So we're gonna talk about SIDU, Space Inc. Uh, we all know the space sector, man, it's, it's a hot sector. Like there's a lot going on with it. Um, it's definitely becoming more trendy as we go on. So on Friday, um, Sidu Space closed at 75 cents. Um, these are just some key points about it. Uh, Sidu Space has a mission of bringing space down to earth and a vision of enabling spaceflight heritage status for new technologies. Um, you can see here that they did an offering at um, 30 cents that was the reason for that big dip off in the chart that you'll see a little bit later on in the video um they're more than just a satellite service provider to do space is trusted mission partner from concept to low earth orbit and beyond so this is their mission statement this is what they're claiming this is what they're talking about um yeah see there's nothing too too spectacular like that but they definitely do have a mission um and they're working towards that um we also seen that they had some PR drop, this is it down here, uh, wrote that majority of Sidhu space revenue historically came from space-related hardware manufacturing with the first half of 2022 included revenue related to its multi-mission constellation and partially 3D printed LizzieSat small satellite. So you guys might have saw in Yahoo Finance that um, that actually was executed, so it actually happened. Um, they had dropped that PR back in 2022 uh, saying that in the beginning of 2023 this would happen and it did happen so that's a good sign they're sticking to their word they're sticking to their promises they're sticking to the timeline i like that uh one thing to note here is the revenue made from that deal um partial like a, a lot of it would was used for the 2020 2022 revenue and not 2023 even though it's happened in 2023 so if you're looking and thinking oh that's great revenue multi-million dollar deal like that's 2022 it was uh accounted for um pr was released on february 15th we're gonna keep it moving so sidu it's three month chart i love charts i love breaking down charts charts is where i get all of my information from charts is what makes me feel confident on a play along with dd so um we can see sidu was doing pretty good they were doing good before the um the offering started to come down once they started talking about it then when it actually closed at 30 cents boom you had the big drop down at 30 cents and then it started to climb back up a little bit it dropped actually to 39.50 so it didn't come all the way down to 30 cents which is we expect them to normally go down to the 30 whatever the offering price was did it and then it started keeping back up um, we picked this up at 52 cents the first time we traded it. We traded this twice already and now we are going in again for the third time for the third time. So when it's, it's on the uptrend back again, um, this gap here, due time with DD, it will get closed and we will get back up to that uh, dollar range. Um, we had hit over I believe 80 cents um, at one point on Friday. We'll check the chart in a little bit. But this is going back up to a dollar. Sure enough, it's uh, it was an offering that made it come down straight up. And like 
the offering is good for the company. Uh, sucks for us. You might have to hold a little bit longer, average down, do your thing. But all in all, it's already started to uptrend very, very quickly. It's even had some uh, spikes. So we made two very profitable trades on this already. Lots of buying, buying pressure coming in. Um, it's looking good. The three month chart, I know that scares people, but when you see a break like that in the chart, you just gotta go scroll down, check the DD, and find out why did it drop like that? Because most people will be like, oh, buy the dip. This is not a dip, man. This is not a dip. So just check, figure out why did things go up? Why did things go down? What did the company do? There's gotta be a reason, you know? So we'll keep it moving here. Um, five day chart. Executed agreements with SpaceX from 2022 launches at the 2023. So they had posted that um, in the morning, the news, the stock flew. Like even though this was already expected because the PR was actually put out in 2022, um, telling, stating us that in the beginning of 2023, uh, it would actually get executed and it did so this had a huge gap up went all the way up to uh, past um, 80 was it 80 cents in past yeah, just over 80 cents came back down bounce tried to go again and then started coming down side shuffling uptrend and it's moving very very nicely uh, this looks very good here this gap I want to say that we should not come back down to fill this gap. Stocks do like to. I don't. I don't. I don't think we'll come back down to fill this one. To be honest, um, uh, I think we'll be okay to keep moving and trending up back towards that dollar. Let's see, keeping it moving. I put. I put in a lot of work on this little PowerPoint presentation for you guys today because what it does instead of me just going on Yahoo Finance and talking over the screen i get a real chance to actually dig down the stock while i'm putting it together and um understand everything that's going on too and it's like i get to read the information twice also sidu has 18 percent insider ownership just a quick note to keep to keep uh in your head this is the one day chart for friday the 17th uh keep it in mind the market cap is 17.185 million um friday Man, it was it was a good day. Like it, it was a really really good day. It opened uh, at seventy cents, went up to maybe seventy eight cents or so there. Uh, I, this is actually just a screenshot. I'm not an actual chart. Took a huge dip down to seventy cents again. So we got lots of support down in the seventy cent range there, and then started creeping back up towards. Um, 75 cents and it, it started moving sideways a little bit looks bullish to me. I like it. I like it a lot um, Uptrend it's moving good 79 cent resistance. We have that day's range for this day was 66 cents to 79 five average volume normally is uh, 3 million four hundred fifty nine Friday's volume was uh, just about double that at six million so all in all with the news that just came out they executed their play uh, that they had from 2022, right on time. Love it, love it. I, I, I'm very, very bullish on this play. Um, this should not be trading under a dollar. Um, it wasn't trading under a dollar not too long ago up until that offering. So it's gradually getting back up there. Um, I think it can make a move past the dollar very probably next week at the rate that this is going. Uh, the space sector has a lot, a lot of eyes on it, and there's so much things going on with it, man. New technology and stuff. It's, it's very interesting things, you know. Uh, keeping it moving here. Okay, institutional holdings. So, like, this is just something we check because you want to know where the big boys are putting their money at. So, we got Vanguard here with 185,000 shares. Uh, Renaissance, BlackRock, um, Raymond James, State Street. Like, you could go through, go through these. In total, there's 21 institutional holders and 550,410 total shares held. So um, it's a, a percentage of their uh, market cap there, but institutions are holding and they're bullish. I like Vanguard and I like BlackRock. Um, I'm gonna ride with them till the wheels fall off. SIDU, let's see, let's see. Next week, uh, Monday's a holiday. 
So, eh, no action. We'll figure out something else to do Monday, but we'll see how it's going. Also, active positions. Uh, we've had increased positions by institutions, 10, decreased 7, held positions 4, total is 21. So, um, there's still more positions and holders than there is uh, getting out of the play. Um, I really like it, this play, man. Uh, it's a very, I, I, in my last video, I talked about uh, SIDU being a very easy stock to trade. It is. I've traded it twice already since I've spotted it. And uh, I'm going to continue to trade it. And the next run, I believe, man, it's going to be a real bullish run. This thing, uh, it, it can it can really go. It can really, really go. And there's a lot of eyes on it right now. So we'll see how it goes, guys. But anyway, if you guys have a great night or great day, whatever time it is and whatever zone you at. Anyway, if you want to get involved with us and in our community, just comment your email below. And I will message you to join our paid WhatsApp uh, group chat where you get daily plays right to your fingertips with my DD, uh, my entries, my exit, my plan, basically my plan just to keep you guys um, active throughout the day. If you're struggling with trading or growing your account, our chat might really, really help you. Plus, I've been doing videos to, to help out the people in my group right now. Um, to get familiar with my kind of strategy on how I do things. So if you guys want, just drop your email down there. I'll contact you. Give it a try. Uh, I'm sure you'll see significant changes. Anyway, stocks to play. Signing out. Adios.